Now, we don't just want to look at keywords with high search volume because they might take 12 months plus to rank depending on how much competition there is. We also want to look at things like keywords with high intent. So what I mean by that is if someone types it, they may be looking to inquire straight away. So things like if I'm if I'm searching, let's take it back to small business CRM, I might just be typing that, but I might just be looking for resources or I might be right at the top of the sales funnel. I might just be looking for more intel that's going to give me confidence to eventually make a query, an inquiry. Um, whereas if I type something like help with, help with CRM for small business or get started on CRM for small business, something that's a bit more what's called longer tail because it has more um, keywords in the search term. I might have a higher intent to actually go out, request that demo or buy within a, a short time scale. So what I'm getting to is usually when you do your keyword research, you want to do a mixture of search terms that are perhaps high intent that have more keywords in them that may be quicker to rank because they're longer. Um, they may have lower search volume, but they may be quicker for you to rank and a mixture of keywords that are shorter and have higher traffic, but are more of a long-term um, win. So, by getting a balance, it means you can get some quicker wins, um, perhaps some medium term wins and some longer wins. So really taking the time to understand, what to, to summarize, what products or services you want to get leads for, what the competitors are doing, which we'll get into a bit more in a sec, um, and the search volume behind them. So you're not going in blind, you're using data as well as what your customers are searching for to really make a sound decision. So you're, you're putting a solid foundation into all these search terms that you're eventually going to be putting all this content out to get ranked for.